Hundreds of Russian military installations remain within range of the U.S. Atakms long-range missiles. Ukraine could hit them if the U.S. allows the missiles to be used on Russian territory. While Russian forces have moved aircraft out of range of Western-supplied Storm Shadow and Atakms missiles, a significant number of Russian military installations remain within range of Western weapons, the Institute for the Study of War reports. The restrictions on strikes allow Russian troops to use safe havens deep in Russia to support military operations against Ukraine. Numerous Western media reports indicate that the U.S. government is blocking Britain from granting Ukraine permission to use Storm Shadow missiles to strike military targets in Russia. The Institute's experts have created an interactive map of military installations near the border to illustrate how partners are limiting Ukraine's ability to strike enemy critical military infrastructure. The redeployment of Russian aircraft from 16 Russian air bases in the Atakms area does not diminish the importance of allowing Ukraine to use Atakms against hundreds of other Russian military installations. Although Russian forces have moved aircraft beyond the range of Western-supplied Storm Shadow and Atakms missiles, a significant number of Russian military installations remain within range of Western weapons. Strike restrictions allow Russian forces to use safe havens deep inside Russia to support military operations against Ukraine. Recall, a new U.S. intelligence assessment has found that since Ukraine began receiving Atakms, Russia has moved much of its air power to military bases outside the missile's range. Soldiers of the Air Defense Unit of the 28th Separate Mechanized Brigade shot down another Russian Su-25 attack aircraft in Donbass, according to the Kortitsky Wind, and the 28th Separate Mechanized Brigade named after the Knights of the Winter Campaign. The Ukrainian military says that the Russian aircraft tried to shell the positions of the Ukrainian Defense Forces. However, Ukrainian soldiers landed the Su-25 with an accurate shot from a man-portable air defense system and now it is burning up in the steppes of Ukrainian Donbass. The incident took place in the Kramatorsk sector. As of today, the Russian attack aircraft has one less aircraft. Its wreckage is now decorating the Donetsk landscape. We congratulate the Knight Brigade on opening an account for the downed Russian aircraft, Kortitsky Wind says. The soldiers of the 28th Brigade add that the fate of the crew of the Russian aircraft is still unknown. However, the military stressed that they knew that there was one less problem for the Ukrainian infantry. Recall, on July 7, Ukrainian soldiers from the 110th Separate Mechanized Brigade named after Mark Bazruko was shot down by a Russian Su-25 attack aircraft in Donetsk region. Also, on July 23, the Ukrainian military shot down a Su-25 plane of the Army of the Russian Federation in the Pokrovsk region of Donetsk region.